housing and home retail stocks have been major beneficiaries of the work from home trade, but with a vaccine on the horizon, is this trade over? Let's bring in Anthony Chikumba with Loop Capital. Anthony, great to have you with us. Um, which stocks in your coverage universe do you think sold off rightfully so? And which ones deserve to be kept in your portfolio? That's a great question. Uh, when we talk about the home furnishings retailers, you had Bed Bath & Beyond down 13%. Uh, you had uh, RH down 4%, uh, William Sonoma down 10%, and then uh, At Home uh, was down uh, 19%. Uh, in terms of Bed Bath, uh, William Sonoma, and At Home, I, I don't really have a major problem with the sell off because I do think that they were major uh, COVID 19 uh, beneficiaries. And when things get back to normal, I, I think it's going to take the bloom off the rose. RH sold off much less, and I'm much more positive on that because it wasn't just a COVID-19 play like I think those other stocks to a large extent were. How do you think about post-pandemic, Anthony? I mean, do we actually go back to the way we were and, and people aren't nesting and, and they're not buying uh, Le Creuset cast iron skillets and, and new sofas? Yeah, that's a great question. And I'm not a virologist or an epidemiologist, and I don't play one on TV, but I do see a return to more normalcy, people spending more time, you know, outside the home, going back to sporting events, going back to movie theaters, traveling more. Um, and so, first off, that's going to divert discretionary spend that's currently being spent in the home. Um, and it's also, if you're not spending as much time in the home, you don't necessarily notice, well, you know, we should probably redo these floors or we should replace our furniture. Um, so it, it'll, it remains to be seen how long it takes to play out, but certainly a return to normalcy, I think, to some extent, is a negative uh, for these home furnishings retailers. There's no question about that. Anthony, it's Tim. Thanks for joining us. I, I know you're not an economist, but you understand the correlations for your sector from lower interest rates. Uh, today, you had a big move higher in rates. What do you think that, that impact is? Because, again, home equity loans give you a lot of money to go down to restoration hardware. Uh, there is a dynamic here that's also uh, a move out of the cities into the urban centers. So speak to the rates issue. Sure, absolutely. Uh, I'm not an economist, but I did have an undergraduate uh, minor in economics, so I, so I think I can speak to that more than uh, virology and epidemiology. Um, yes, look, clearly if interest rates uh, go up, then, that, then mortgage rates are going to um, move you know, in relative lockstep. Um, that will put a bit of a damper on the housing market, and the housing market has been so strong these last few months. Um, so, yeah, I mean, if, if mortgage rates go up, then maybe you don't have as many people um, sort of moving out of urban areas, moving to the suburbs. Um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll certainly see. Because, I mean, the one thing to remember, too, is like, look, this is COVID-19. And, and on the one hand, you say, well, it's a once-in-a-generation type thing. But on the other hand, I mean, there could be a COVID-20. There could be a COVID-2021, right, or 21. And so... It, it, you know, I think it will have at least a, a bit of a lasting impact on the, on the consumer psyche. God, I hope you're wrong on that front, Anthony. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. Anthony Chukumba of Loop. Um, Karen, how do you think about this trade? I mean, I think about all these people who move from the cities to the suburbs and what they may be thinking now or if they're in contract for a, a large, you know, seven bedroom home with two home offices, <laughs> if they're regretting it. <laughs> <laughs> Right. And are they going to buy those really, you know, pretty expensive restoration hardware um, sofas? I don't I don't know. I can't help but think this pullback wasn't really enough, given the, you know, the big picture dynamic. But um, I don't know. I missed the ride on restoration hardware. So maybe I'm just bitter about it. Um, but I think for something like um, Bed Bath and Beyond, I absolutely get what Anthony's saying, that maybe the bloom is off the rose there. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.